what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have his 2013 it's a mercedes-benz uh c230 and today we're gonna perform all keys laws for this car so this car doesn't have any key or anything just let me well it's not gonna work either we have the alarm on so if i do something like really quick or turn on the hazards or anything the alarm will kick on that means it's uh well we don't have any key so that means somebody's trying to steal the car that's why it's doing that so we have this tool right here the im608 and we're gonna program this key uh using the xp400 programmer i already checked my key and it's working fine i can communicate with it so what we have to do when if you want to use the g box which is a lot faster to get the code uh, so we can program the key here's the layout to do all this so this connection right here is gonna be your k-line and we're gonna connect this k-line to the electronic lock for the steering wheel so as you can see this is gonna be the pin number three so we have to locate that pin three and connect it to be the k-line for the g-box which is this one k7 and we're gonna use these other two for power on the relay so I mean the fuse so if you scroll down here it tells us to remove this fuse and we're gonna connect this cable that right here that comes with the G box so we're gonna uh, send this wire all the way to the uh, fuse box and well let's let me connect all this wiring and it comes with this connection so we we have to communicate with the uh, with the box, the J2534, which is this one, the programmer. So I'm gonna just put it right here. But first, we need to pull the the connection from the, from the uh, the lock. So I'm gonna pull the connection first, and then I'm gonna do all the connections and start the uh, the retrieval process of the uh, of the security code. And for this, we need Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. And it's gonna take about 30 minutes to get the code, so it's a lot faster than waiting like two hours or even a whole day to get the code. All right, so let me do that. Let me do all this first, and then I'll get back to you. All right, so this is the fuse we need to take out. It's a 7.5, and it's the one that it's at the very back. Here we have our connection. We're gonna plug it in. It's already plugged in. So we go back into the vehicle and since we have this box right here we're gonna do the reload boxes right here so that's connected already and we have the connection right there as you can see that's the connection and I have connected the J254 252034 I mean connected with the G box and then the G box connects to the OBD port and it comes all together. So we're gonna hit OK since we have already everything in place and connect the diagnostic tool and everything. We have the Wi Fi on too. So we're gonna remove, I mean, it's already all removed and connected to the electronic uh, steering lock connector already. So we're gonna press OK and it's gonna establish communication with the vehicle and it's gonna read the IEDS data I think I'm gonna have to connect my connection so um, we're just gonna hit begin it's gonna establish communication with the vehicle come on so it's a success and we're gonna insert our blank key into the IRS into the programmer so we're gonna hit OK. It's gonna communicate with the key. And it says do not disconnect the USB cable. So it's gonna update the firmware on this because it has an update. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit. All right, so it's completed. And it says if there's a key password, we don't have it. So press OK to calculate the password. We're gonna press OK. And it's gonna do its thing, connect the OBD. And connect the IR key simulator so I'm gonna have to get that one so that one goes right here I'll get it right now and it's gonna collect all the data so let me get the connection real quick all right so we have connected the 
read sensor to the ignition switch as you can see this is gonna be the simulator and we're gonna press begin so this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna pause the video and well I'll, it will get uh, really busy so it says do not disconnect the connection so we're gonna leave everything as is and we're gonna wait connect the over the cable and connecting the warning line sequence ensure that it is connected from the steering column and it is so we're gonna press ok connect the error to the programmer and it is connected so we're gonna press ok success and it's gonna obtain the data password calculations uh, is performed by four people on the server you may have to wait for a long period so we're gonna press ok and we have a charger charging over there so it's gonna take a while all right so I'll be back when this is all ready all right okay actually I have to remove it and insert it again and it's gonna get the password so yeah it's gonna take a while about 50 10 to 50 minutes so I'll, I'll be back all right so the password has been already calculated as you can see so I'm gonna blur all this because it's sensitive information so we're gonna press Oops, we're gonna press OK. Como pueden ver, ya se calculó todo el password y ya hice todo el procedimiento que se tenía que hacer. Ya está todo listo. Entonces, vamos a darle siguiente. Y ahorita va a escribir el archivo en la llave. Va a generar una llave que funcione para poder abrir el switch. So, right now it's writing all the file into the key. So, we can actually use the key to turn on the car. So, so success, please insert the plan key. Como pueden ver, la llave ya está insertada. We're going to press OK. It's going to detect the key. Once it detects the key, it's going to write the file into the key. Como pueden ver, ya está escribiendo la llave. Vamos a asegurarnos que esté bien ahí. Writing key file. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Come on, come on, come on. Let's wait. And successful. All keys last completed after... Pressing OK, check if the new key can be used normally or according to instructions. Como pueden ver, ya escribió el archivo. Entonces, ahorita vamos a conect voy a conectar para atrás el conector del, uh, de la columna. So, I'm going to connect the column uh, connector right now. And we're going to turn on the car. We're going to insert the key twice. One, two. Asegurarnos que funcione bien. Como pueden ver, aquí está la escritura dice insert the key into the S and check if the red dot in the key will blink twice and it goes off that means the learning is complete if the red lamp stays lit uh, we're gonna try and insert the again Entonces, como pueden ver este si no hacen eso puede fallar y pues dejen conectar ahorita el conector y a ver qué pasa all right, so the connector for the electronics uh, column is already connected. Ya lo conecté, puse el fuse para atrás. Entonces, vamos a quitar el, humo, la, el emulador. Y vamos a usar la llave. Aquí, vamos a ver si prende dos veces. O se apaga. So, ahí está uno. Segunda. Y vamos a ver si habla ya. So, we're going to open the switch. And there we go. So you should turn on the car right now. Let's turn it on. And there we go. The car is on. All right, guys. So this is how you program all keys lost for a 2013 Mercedes C230. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next episode. See you next time. Bye.